think Runyon pinned Mantanona last year in the duel. I don't know if we can look that up. I don't know if they wrestled at the tournament. Runyon actually pinned their, uh, Dustin Plot earlier this year. I'm almost positive that Runyon pinned Mantanona last year in the duel. And Mantanona beat him this year. And they didn't get it. wasn't a pin? Oh, my gosh. I don't care. I feel like there's a pin coming. I stand by. Just stand by, by my predictions that are right at least 42% of the time. It's just math. Eight allocations. Eight allocations. This is a really deep weight. One minute down, I jinxed him, nothing's happening. Here we go, here come the scrambles. He goes right to that Blair ride too. I mean, that is, that is nice technique, how quick he gets out there to the side. Because whether you're stalling or not, they can't call you for stalling here. And that is painful on your arm and your shoulder. Does that more on the opposite side of the camera, but when you see it on the camera, perfect job of keeping that elbow on that joint. I mean, it's just painful. Now he's got it pulled up off his onto his back. He's gonna do that little pry where you actually pull it off the back and it's illegal, but you cover it with your body so nobody sees it. And you go under hook on the far side. Just like this. He called it PD, not illegal. Was hip slid off of it. Got to be a little sneak here. If you ain't rubbing, you ain't racing, right? Man, Nona just winked at somebody in the crowd, literally. Literally, that just happened. Looks pretty loose here. Likes his high half series. Mantanona was huge last year in this tournament for the Sooners. I think got at least two falls, maybe three. Maybe we can look that up and see what his path was last year in the tournament. Feels like Runyon's out here. Derek Lark. Derek Clark had a wardrobe malfunction. So Mandona had two falls and a major last year. That's huge. That's five extra bonus points plus placement and advancement. Without those five points, clearly they don't tie for the Big 12 tournament. I've seen a lot of things. I've never seen a belt pop in a match. There was a there was a point they called the PD or so all that essentially was for just the riding time. I mean that's how you got to look at it, right? They're tied right back up, but he does have the riding time. Okay, 20 seconds left in the period. Choice <laughs> Runyon. I think that's smart. You go down first. If nothing happens this period, you know how long you have to ride. Oh, 
Antonone has a left side ride. He's always trying to run over that left arm to get to that Blair ride. Look at halfway Salto there. Steen came out of his chair for a second. He thought it was going to be illegal, but he actually put him down nice and soft. That's body control right there, ladies and gentlemen. Oklahoma is at 100 and a half. They started the session behind 16, and they're now behind 13. Missouri still has the Elam brothers going to 97 and heavy. Oklahoma is on the mat right now at 165, 174, and 197. We're 3 2 for Runyon. Low shot. Mantanona just dove over it immediately. Runyon's trying to make slow improvements, trying to straighten that leg. Mantanona's got the leg that he would overhook with. Keeps changing and trying to improve his grip on that. Mantanona's gonna crowd him, get head high. That's why you go far ankle whenever you can. I'll tell you what, we've seen Mantanona get tired a lot in the regular season. He looks calm, he looks fresh. I don't know if he's training differently, better lifestyle, just managing his nerves better, but he does not look tired at all. Doesn't look out of sorts, and we've seen him look that way in matches. The battle of matches has looked that way. I mean, obviously, Plot's kind of a goer, it, but he doesn't lose fired up. Grello just won. Keegan Moore is winning. Mantanona is winning. Oh, Grello lost, excuse me. doing the neck wiggle to get out of that before he goes anywhere else, which is a good idea. Crab ride. This is how he got out the last time. Just get skinny with it. Okay, so it's 4-4. Mantanona's got choice next period. So he'll go down. And I jinxed this match because there's no pin coming now. Four four, two eleven a riding time for Mantanona. Alex double spike Steen alongside me, David Maricatani. We are one hour into session three. So I wonder if Runyon's strategy here is to ride the whole period out and get it over. Oh, Mantanona just got warned. So that actually becomes a, a situation now. And it does not look like he's making a lot of attempt here to get out. He's looking at the clock. Mantanona's got to go now. I mean, he gets broken down again. They're going to hit a stall call against him, and the riding time is going to go away, and he'd actually be losing. It's like he listened. This is where he likes to be in these reversal positions. He knows where he is so well in those scenarios. Like, a lot of guys would have given up on it. So, man, Nona's going to get choice again. Man, 
known as talking to the people in the crowd rather than turning around and listening. Could you tell what happened to Runyon here? I couldn't tell. He signaled for it as soon as he hit the mat. I couldn't tell what it was. Like this looks fairly serious. We're down to 45 seconds of injury time as well. Runyon's down to seven seconds of injury time here. Yeah, it does, and he can barely walk. Runyon went for the cradle. Man Nona's to his feet. Now it's like Man Nona's just gonna rest down there. He's gotta be careful though, because the riding time's gone. I mean, a stall call would put it within a point. I mean, obviously, they're not going to ding him twice, but. Manono was actually nice to him, didn't try to crank his ankle or anything else. Pat him on the butt, gotta like that. So that's three and a half more for Oklahoma. That puts him at 104, and Keegan Moore is 30 seconds away of making it 107 and a half, which would put him within six points. But here comes Rocky Elam.